Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, people, wherever you in the world. Um, the heading of this call, I've changed a bit to interesting findings. Let's talk a little bit first about the Telegram groups for C12. There's two where I'm, or three where I'm involved in. The one is my own dream group where I stopped comments and posts. If you want to, I can go show you how people react every time that I open, they start fighting my school children. So I'm not going to open that chat till further notice. And then the Africa chat group that was opened for me, I'm not an admin in there. And they also stopped any posts there. Uh, quickly, a few things I'm going to share screen. Can I ask everybody just to stop with the comments or the posts, please? while I'm busy with the, with the presentation or with the call. All right, I'm gonna go to a folder that I named C12. If you look at this chat here, I'm gonna show you the previous conversations with this person as well. This is the first thing that, that, that was very, really interesting for for us or for me um this person i've got him on my phone as adamson or in telegram as adamson asked me why did i delete him in the channel c12 uh, i found that he added somebody in the group which i was not happy with because I add people in the dream group myself in the C12. I always added people myself. So he found a way to add somebody in there. I am still looking for exactly when this happened. He sent me a message on the 7th of June. I'm going to quickly show you, and it's going to be very quick. This is the profile of Adamson. Now, there's a phone number there. We're going to get to the phone numbers just now. So let's go to the beginning of the chat. He asked me to be added in the Africa group, which I can't do at that stage because I wasn't uh, admin. And I told him I can't add him. I tried to add him in the dream group. And he then said I must add his last name as William, Adamson, Adamson William. And then... I, he asked me to reload Telegram and find William, William Williamson. Then if you go to the next one, the next part of the chat. There is his first time that there is a number on. Let me see if I can zoom here. It's not going to be too too clear. Uh, there I found his face. I'm just going to zoom back to 87. Okay. And then the third part of the chat. Uh, he's still trying to get into the group. And I told him I want to see how it looks from my side. And then we go to the fourth part of the chat where for the first time I saw a photo of him. Now you can look at the dates there. I'm quickly going to go to to the dates. Uh, that was I can't see that. That was April 26th, around about. That was on April 26th. So that is the first time that I saw a photo of this person that claims that he's Adamson. There, I'm going to show it to you again. And then the next is the last part of the chat where I ask him. Uh, or what, when he asked, why did I remove the one person from the 
from the group. Okay, so next that I'm going to show you is uh, I need to find out these are where that we save. Let me just stop sharing screen and quickly find what I want to find. So, kind of people, this is a lot of information that I've got in different places. All right, there's the one. Just bear with me. I'm not even going to share all the information we've got at this stage. Um, right, let's try again. Okay, so that photo that I showed you there, where he sent me a photo of himself. There you can see Adamson and his own his own uh, photo, and then the support team for T12 then popped up with the same photo, Jakob and Mia. So that's when people started speculating if T10 is not part of C12 and what what can be done. Now at this stage, please remember, I'm not making any uh, conclusion on the things that I'm going to show you today. What I'm showing you is what we found over time. I won't have time to show you everything, but I'm going to show you a few more things. The one thing that I want to show you, let's just see again. Can everybody see the screen? Yes, there we go. Shortly after the beginning of June, the so-called CEO of C12 started communicating with us. We never communicated with him before that. Uh, they also then started a leadership group, which I'm going to show you shortly, where the person that we spoke to as Marco then said we must call him Andy. So we assumed then that this was Andy Garcia. Now, if you go look, uh, I'm not going to show you too much stuff on T10. What I am going to show you is the wallet address at TW3WX is the same address that is been that used that's used by C12 and also T10. But we also found two other platforms using the same address. So we don't have clarity yet. Is that a merchant address or merchant wallet or does it belong to the same group of people? What happened now in the last few days is a new platform opened, Meteor. We registered on there to test it, to see what's going on and to find out more information because it looks very similar to, to T10 and C12. Now what we found on the Meteor thing, one of our team members found this. Uh, it says that it's registered in England or Wales, and there's a company 25 April. And then the next photo shows that the person who registered it is Andreas Garcia, and there's her address. So that I'm not going to draw any conclusions that this Andrea Garcia is the same as the Andreas Garcia of C12, but that is what we found on Meteor. So there's a strong possibility then that if you open your mind that you can connect C12, T10, and Meteor with each other. Or you can also then go and two of the others that lasted very short time. It's also linked because of the wallet address. Okay, I'm going to stop. No, I'm not going to stop share screen. I'm going to just pause it and quickly go to Telegram. 
This is a leadership group that was started, as you can see here, uh, by Marco and Emma. Uh, that was people like Terence Pounds and some of the leaders on the on a top team list. And then people started posting, and you can see there's frequent photos where Marco and Emma, who then said, yeah, you can see, call me Andy. Um, support takes care of all the requests from the same profile. They will not read this chat. Okay. There's Terence. Andrew said a few things. There's the support team again. There's a lot of posts that was on the 2nd of June. Uh, there is still 2nd of June. There's another one, 2nd of June. And then 3rd of June was communication. The 4th of June, we had communication. And then on the 5th of June, we had communication. Uh, there's the 6th of June. And that was roughly roughly the last time we had any communication and on the 7th of june this adamson then sent me a message why did i remove somebody from a group so those two days are dates are just too close together for me for comfort so at this stage i'm not gonna um ask you to make a decision there's a few factors we need to take into consideration first one the website is still open all the people very close to me, all the health profiles that I open, my cat's profile, which is my second profile somewhere down in the lineage, can still log in and reinvest. My own profile, I can't go to my account page. I can't even log a support ticket because that is where you, reserve, where you need to, to get into the profile. So there's no, there's an error page. I can't, from the login, which gives me an error, go to the page where I can log a ticket. Uh, so there's no way to communicate with them at this stage, but the website is still open for all the other profiles. I didn't find any reports of profiles that they can't see the, the information. So that is the one, one thing we must take into consideration. The amount on the website that goes, the website that goes up for investments is basically only reinvestments. I don't think anybody is putting new money in C12. So we must ask ourselves the question then, are they keeping it open because it's costing money to keep it open? Is anybody on here knows what the server fees and uh, internet fees is for a website like that? It's huge amounts. And they're not really getting in any new money. And then we need to look at some other things which close down and we couldn't get into the website. We usually, remember I test, uh, nine out of 10 platforms that I test, you don't even hear about them. I take the loss on, loss on them. I go forward with them to you on the 10%, and about 40% of those ones don't last long. We had quite a few this year. Uh, I'm gonna call names, Dexify, uh, do hourly. It lasted a few days, and then the website is not available. Earn on sports just closed down like that. So why would they keep the website open? We must ask ourselves that question. Why are they keeping the website open? Yes, they're not communicating, but they did give a few updates after the 6th of June. Uh, very, very scarce of the information. There was one long update, but not much information came through there. So at this stage, I'm not going to com uh, commit myself to a decision if C12 is finished or not. I had a vision long ago that this thing can last long. Just a bit of background. The only money I ever put into C12 was $30. I ended up in hospital. That was on the 2nd of, I registered on the 25th of January. 
I invested $30 on the 2nd of February. I then ended up in hospital. On the 3rd of February, I did a withdrawal of $12. I reinvested it on the 4th. So the only money I put in from the start was $30. And with what I did for C12, with all the affiliate bonuses, it grew to a massive amount. Uh, the last time I could get onto my account page, my investment balance was $75,000. So I did a lot of work for the community. I sponsored in huge amount of people. Uh, there's specific people that can testify to that. Cheryl uh, Patrick, where I sponsored their teams in with $50 each. A lot of other people, some of Christina's people, even some of Lisa's people. Now, if you go back a little bit further, I ended up in hospital again when the doctors decided to check my heart that my heart is not beating. It's fluttering. And I booked into the hospital and there were some issues for the payment, which I said I'll do the next morning. And during that night or early that night, can't remember what time, C12 transferred $12,000 to Lisa for my hospital costs which she transferred to my wallets. I changed it to Rand's and the next morning I paid $196, 196,000 Rand's to the hospital. And then we took the other money and we opened the health profiles because we knew there's going to be extra costs for the doctor, people that must put me under with the gas and whatever, or needles, uh, CAT scans and whatever. I also, on the first evening there, uh, paid something in the region of 18 and a half thousand rands for all the things that they did with my card. So that money was utilized. But then we come to the question, why did they do that? If they plan to run away, is it worth to them to spend $12,000 on me so that I can keep the community positive? We don't know. We don't know. And I'm not going to make that decision. Uh, we've got a few choices here now in this process of tracing back uh, this Adamson person with the same profile photo that is on the T10 support team profile uh, and the complaint that he laid after he added somebody against my rules in the C12 dream group. We did trace two other numbers to him and we do have a South African number. There's various ways we can do this. On Telegram, the last time he was on was 13, 13 June. We can do a mass attack and load him on our phones as a contact and uh, find out if he's got a WhatsApp or alternatively send SMSs or on Telegram send messages if we want to go that far, which I don't think will have much of a response. We've got an American number and a German number also connected to this person. So we, we can't at this stage determine how did C12 manage to lose the information so that T10 can have close to an exact copy. A few interesting things. I'm just going to open a photo here quickly. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to try get it so that everybody can see. If you look at there you can see the spelling of S Y N O. I can't even see properly there. There's a spelling area on the loading page of C12. And then if you go to D10, you've got the same spelling error. So that doesn't mean that it's, it's the same people. It can mean a lot of things. It can mean that they were actually under attack and the information or the 
the base of the website was stolen from them. That's a one possibility. And that they're really struggling to get our information back. Let's say the payout system was attacked. And now they're trying to show you as paid. Uh, when you show as paid currently, you can still cancel. There's an X. That means they've done nothing to get that money to your wallet. It is to prevent you from doing more withdrawals. So that can be that they're trying to buy time to get their system restored. That the attack was so much that they couldn't operate the payment system. That is one possibility. But still, I can't draw that conclusions. I don't have enough evidence. Uh, Lisa don't have enough evidence. Nobody on our side of the leadership teams got enough evidence of what actually transpired there. Yes, there's some people in the group, the leadership telegram group, who frequently say they finished. Terence Pounds publicly said in his uh, Zoom call of yeah, in his Zoom calls and recordings that C12 is finished. We come back to the question: Why is the website still open? So I'm going to make uh, I'm going to let you make your own decisions. I quickly want to. How many people are we on here? 86. I'm going to ask you if you are willing to behave yourselves if I open the Telegram group for posts. Just give me a thumbs up either in the chat or type a yes and then I'll tell you what the rules will be. All right, it's overwhelming yes. All right, okay, that's enough people. All right, what I'm gonna do there then is I will open the dream group, the C12 dream group for posts and comments. The first person that launches any attack against another person, I close the group again for, for posts. The first negativity, I'm closing the group. So it depends on you if that group stays open. I want constructive questions. I'm not going to give more updates here currently because whatever I know and that we've got time for today, I shared with you already. Other information I've got is a call on its own, which will be later this week or the next Tuesday. I am still collecting information, not evidence, information. Um, that suggestion of re just removing, it takes forever time. People, I, I discovered a bunch of messages dated 12 to 16 June on Telegram. More than 400 of them that I never answered yet. I discovered another bunch around about the 18th to the 20th of May, which I never got to. I still got more than 2,900 outstanding messages on Telegram. So I don't have time to police the groups. So if you don't behave, I just close it. That's the easiest. So I want constructive conversation there. Uh, and I want you to behave. Do not attack me. Do not attack any of the admin people. And be like adults. Right, now, just one thing quickly. There's a member on here, just send me a message on in the chat if you are willing that I, I share your name. Uh, there's a person that had a, a dream about C12 a while ago, which I don't know very well. There's other, other people of my core teams who know this person more. If you are willing for me to ask you to share the dream, let me know in a private message on here, or just say yes or no. You know where you are. All right, obviously that person don't want to, want to share. Well, there was a dream shared. Okay, uh, are you willing to uh, to talk? 
on the Zoom call, Mpo. Uh, sorry, I mentioned your name now. Carry on with the private conversation. Okay. Forget about the name that I mentioned now. Right. Somebody had a dream. I didn't, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Where the person had a dream about the C12 support team sitting in a boardroom. Somewhere in the future. Remember, right at the beginning, I said many, many times, the vision that I had was for a very long-term project. We knew there's going to be a tax somewhere. When was the first attack? Somewhere end of February. Huge attacks against the system. And they, they managed to get the system safer. Now, uh, the challenges that I've seen, especially it was somewhere in the end of April, shortly after my birthday, the attacks got more fierce. You could you could see on the behavior of the website that everything is not gonna is not going fine. Oh, if you look at and what people have seen about the future of C12. And what I've seen and what Lisa have seen and a lot of other people, I don't care much for 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 the other leaders on that uh, team list of, of top 12. Ben Spounds says on every single video, he is a YouTube gambler. He takes platforms and runs them. And the, the reason why he gets his money out so fast is because his whole team is following, but the people at the back is losing money. That is unfortunately how it works. What I do when I add myself on a platform, the person whose invite link I use is gonna get a bit of commission from me. I'm not loading people yet. I want to go through the point where I get my money back. We on one now, Meteor, because we want to see what's going on there. And I'm not going to reinvest anything there. After 10 days, I'll have my capital back if it lasts that long. I only put in $100. And then you use the other five days and reinvest. If it then lasts, then we can let the teams know, right, this is working. So that's a way that we test it. Most of the time, I test alone. I climb on the platform. I make sure how long it takes to get the capital back, the seed capital. And then we make it public and start loading the people that's interested. Remember, I'm not forcing anybody to, to uh, come on board. It's your free choice. Make sure you invest money that is not going for food. And make sure you don't in, you invest money that is not... Let me just check somebody off the call here who unmuted themselves. Morning, sorry. There you go. Have a nice afternoon. Right. So many people, if you unmute yourself, I, I don't have time to ask you to mute. Right. Um, there's people now asking to be added to the Telegram group. You can be added by sending me a private message so that I can see your Telegram name and then make sure that your number is visible to me so that I can know where you're from and make sure that I can actually add you to the group. We, nobody else can add to that group. That's just for security. Right, that's all for now then. I'm going to open up for questions. Uh, feel free to raise your hand and then I will give you a chance from the left to the right. Alton, you've got your hand up. You can unmute yourself. Thanks, Stefan. Um, just a question I have regarding the reinvestments and no new capital coming into the platform, or, or we assume that there's no new capital coming in, probably very little. Um, you know, obviously now with the reinvestments, we're all compounding a lot more than what we would have been um, normally. And the question I have is when the, when the payment system um, is sorted out and everything is back to the way it should be, do you believe that uh, they will have enough funds to support the massive amount of withdrawals that will inevitably come from that? Then somebody asked me that question. If we keep on reinvesting, uh, what I think the last time I checked, they were on 
can somebody check for us quickly what is the total amount invested on c12 who's going to check for me quickly 92 million now that 92 million is the overall investment amount from the start so that's not the current balance does anybody everybody understand it like that yes okay so that is that is not the current balance that's the money that was invested from the start so the current balance is way less and i don't think if you can even work out on a spreadsheet what the current amount is it can't be much more than 40 million at this stage but now the value of the profiles is 92 million from the start the value of the investments but the current value of the profiles is about 40 million uh what must you do to get somebody's capital back at 12 percent? you must trade and make a profit of, of 3.667 percent per day to pay the people back the return on investment you ob obviously also going to pull out the rest of the money the eight point point three three percent out of the trading account when you pay somebody out and they don't want to reinvest that was one of the secrets of c12 a lot of people took their money out but they also put a lot of it immediately back now 3.667 percent who on here got any trading experience put up your hands for me so i can see who has got any trading experience on here? Mpo, who else? All right, I've been trading for many, many years. And I've said on a previous Zoom call, in a one, one hour session, 60 minutes, I managed to push trades through at 1% per trade per minute. So I made 60% on that one hour. A lot of people ask me, why don't I just leave everything and just trade every day? I don't like trading. It takes focus. I can make a lot of money by just trading four or five hours every day. So I did start trading again recently. On a, on a platform that I've not worked on before. And I've showed the numbers to Patrick. He said it's not possible. I doubled the money in 24 hours and 19 minutes from $50 to 100 with small trades, 10 cent profit trades. I doubled it. But that took a lot of time. It took about five hours of my time. I then got on the second day about 13%. And then yesterday, everything ran haywire and I lost about $20, which is just under 18%, under which I'm now building up. But I'm back on that amount that I was 24 hours ago. I don't have time to sit in front of the computer and watch the graph the whole time. I must answer messages. I must answer phone calls. I've got other platforms that I must attend to, other platforms that's in development. So if I physically sit for 12 hours a day and trade, I'm going to easily outperform any bot. I've registered on a, on a bot as well to see what the performance is. The bot is running at, uh, ran good for the first few days at 4% average for four days. But that average went down now to 1.0%, 1.01%. I'm outperforming the bot by a little bit. So let's say C12 needs 3.667% today. They can do it manually. They don't even need the bot for that. They can do it manually, easily, if you focus. Have two teams of traders and trade. So I don't think that if they want to come back, that they will be so stupid as not to trade. They will keep on trading. And then there's a possibility, if that is the truth, that they are sitting with a huge amount of money. 
And we don't know what other wallets they are. We know what wallet they're using to do the payouts, which is the same as, as T10 and two other platforms that we could pick up. That doesn't mean where that's a wallet where the money is sitting. Your money is not sitting in a wallet when you when you do trading. It's sitting in your trading account. Then does that answer your question on that one? Uh, yes, it does. I, I think the follow-up question I was going to have for you was, do you believe they're still trading? But I think you've answered that too. So thanks very much. Mm -hmm. If they plan to come back, obviously, I, I strongly believe that they, they are trading. But again, I, I can't tell you they're coming back. I do not have enough information to make that decision for myself yet. I sit here outside on my rock and pray every day. Give me clarity. What must we do? Must we tell the people to keep on reinvesting? Or must we tell them just to leave everything as is? No clear answer yet. So my logic tells me reinvest and build up your portfolio. Uh, on Karina, my landlady, right. yesterday, we invested $8,000. That is how much the growth was from last week, Monday, to this week, Monday. And it, it's going to go accelerate. And compounding, as compounding work for us, making our profile stronger, it also works for the trading account. The same effect, because the profit they make, more than 3.667%, goes back into trade. So it's got the same effect there as well. Now the advice I'm giving the people who are signed up is to is to continue reinvesting um, until such a time as whatever happens, either the payments con um, reactivate and everything goes back to normal, or unfortunately they switch the site off, but it takes five minutes a day. So there's no point in not reinvesting. Yeah, exactly. Right, um, quickly, uh, people don't send me a WhatsApp to add you on a Telegram group. You need to send me a Telegram message to add you on a Telegram group. Right. Um, okay, the person that had the dream is willing to share it if we don't record. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to ask is everybody that still got questions? Ask them now, and then I'm going to stop the recording, and then we're going to give this person a chance to share the dreams that she had. She had two different dreams. Any other questions at this stage? All right, then you can unmute and i'm going to stop the recording unmute and shout bye so just for the record recording i must just find the record button now so that i stop it all right is everybody unmuted it's not the real bar you can stay on because this person is going to share their dream with us thank you Bye. Don't go off the call. Stay on the call, people. Stay on the call. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye.